What is quantitative easing? Quantitative easing is where the government creates more of its own currency and then spends this newly printed money on purchasing financial assets, mostly government bonds. So what are the impacts of this? There are three main effects of quantitative easing on the economy. Rising inflation, reduction of government debt and falling interest rates. Inflation is also caused by creating more money. Government debt is reduced by repurchasing the bonds, essentially cancelling the debt and interest rates fall due to the increased supply of capital to the bond market. This greater supply of capital to the bond market raises prices and decreases the yields of debt securities. This causes lower overall interest rates in the economy, as well as more liquidity from government purchases and higher prices of other assets such as shares due to investors moving away from now lower yielding and less attractive bond markets. These increases in total investments boost wealth, spending and economic activity. Quantitative easing has become more common in the world's largest economies including the US, UK, EU and Japan due to its continuous proven success. Most economies began using QE in response to the global financial crisis in 2009 to stimulate activity by raising investment values and decreasing interest rates, and its use has risen consistently ever since. Because QE does pose a risk to inflation, governments must be prepared to stop or reduce their currency creation, or even reverse the process and begin selling more bonds. So who wins and who loses when it comes to quantitative easing? Firstly, savers clearly lose when money is printed. Those looking to invest in bonds or annuities also lose due to the lower interest rates and returns. The clear winners are existing stock and bond investors who stand to see the value of their assets rise. Furthermore, borrowers are quite possibly the biggest winners with both interest rates falling and inflation simultaneously rising to erode the real value of the debt.